Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right. Last time I was at Stephen F. Austin State Park, the historical center was not open. So we're going to visit this. There's some stuff outside that was not finished when I was here last time. So let's go. Let's go, let's go see some historical stuff. I think this is one of the one of the best Texas Historical Commission sites. Uh, they've just done a, they've, they've created a really engaging experience inside of the museum. And when I was here last, the last time I was actually here on the property, there were a team of archeologists that were excavating because the town site was has been virtually after the runaway scrape and the, the town of San Felipe was burned, they never came back. And so all of the remains of all of the buildings are still there. So we're going to take a look at recreations of several buildings. We're going to step back in time and we're going to look at what was right here on these four sites. The Texas Gazette Printing Office, the Farmer's Hotel, Austin Academy. Yeah, so we got several businesses that we're going to check out. And they provide us with a piece of literature. You do, there is a $5 fee to get in. So this is obviously the Texas Gazette printing office. Look up for paper for printer's hats. Oh, okay. So you, if, if you wanna make a hat, put tokens, so you buy tokens inside and you can pick up subscriptions. I didn't do that. Whoops. Okay. Should have brought the Insta360 camera for this. But I didn't. Talk about Dutch ovens. Big camp ovens. Wow, they even had fire extinguishers. This is Cecilia's, Celia's kitchen and bake oven. Wow, served eight to ten dinners at each meal. These meals were cooked in the kitchen and bake oven. Cook lived in the kitchen. Wow, okay. So there was a board here. So this was where she kept her prized possessions. So she, this was where she did all the cooking and that was where she did the baking, baking for the hotel. 
So I guess we'll go see the hotel next. Maybe they have a bit of a drainage issue going here. This is the hotel cellar. <laughs> so I wonder if that cellar had the same drainage issues that this cellar had. All right, we need to go, we need to go up into the hotel. Okay, the Farmer's Hotel served as a temporary government building. A writing desk. That's a neat chandelier. I need a hat like that. We don't get to go up to the sleeping loft. Okay, well since we can't go up there, I guess we'll go to the next building. I wanted to see the loft. School and Sunday School. Interesting. So the very first school was a dirt floor. Pretty much is what that, that said. And they used uh, students teaching students kind of thing. Older students taught younger students. Of 
courthouse and convention leaders. That's cool. Uh, that is very cool right there. So this is what the government office looked like. One more to go. Sleeping loft. And so this is kind of a one room structure that families moving into the area would rent while they went and found their own piece of Texas. Apparently there were quite a few of these one room cabins that dotted the the town site. All right. Well that brings us to the end of this extended tour of the Texas Historical Commission site uh, at San Felipe de Austin. San Felipe. Very neat place. Definitely worth coming to visit. You should come see it. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Looks like it's gonna start raining again. We need to see this though. Yep, storm's coming. Look at the last time I was here, I watched a really powerful thunderstorm move across there. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get out of the rain. Really glad I'm not in a tent. 